Hello all, welcome to another video of Midas short video series. My name is Rohit Yusuf and I am a technical support engineer at Midas IT. For today's video, we will be discussing about the frequently asked questions of construction stage analysis in Midas level. This will be the agenda for today's video. First, we will be discussing the difference between construction stage static or user defined load types and how the software considers them in construction stage analysis, followed by how to view the construction stage results in 4CS, how to view the results of a particular load case separately in construction stages. At the end, we can discuss why the construction stage and 4CS results not match. Let's jump to the software. So, for demonstration purpose, I have considered a simple prop cantilever beam. In the first construction stage, I will be activating the fixed support along with a UDN. In the next construction stage, I will be activating the prop as a deformed one. Let's see the, about the loads. This is the load and you can see that first we can see what happens when we provide the load type as a static lead tent load. Let's run the model. Let's see the results. CS1. So, load forces. CS dead load. So, we can see that whatever loads, elemental, nodal, or any load that is activated in the construction stages will be considered as a CS dead load. It, everything will be clubbed together into CS dead load case. So, here we have just activated one load. Let's see the results. You can see that a cantilever behavior can be observed. Maximum of 180 kN meter at the fixed end. In the next construction stage, we have activated the prop support, but there is no change in the bending moment diagram since it is in the deformed condition. Now, in the post CS stage, you can see that there is a load case automatically generated. That is the ST load, dead load case that we have created in the load cases. So you can see that we can see that in the 4 CS. But while viewing the results, we can see that the loading sequence is not considered. So here, when we define it, define the load as any other load case, like dead load or user defined or any other load, other than construction stage loads. When we view the results in 4 CS, we can see that the loading sequence won't be considered. That means here, the software considers the and that structure to be activated in a single stage and on top of it they are providing the loading so that is why we can see a prop cantilever behavior in the structure in post cs stage while going to the last construction stage you can see that it will be following the sequence now let's unlock the model let's see what happens if we are providing it as a cs construction stage load go to load Static load, static load cases. Here we select construction stage. Construction stage load modified. Let's run the analysis. Let's check the results. Again, CS1 results. Dead load. So again, you can see that there is no change in the behavior of the structure. Everything is similar to the previous case. The second case also is the same. But when we go to the post CS, you can see that there is only one load combination provided. We will go to the load combination. We will delete this. Now, so now we can see that no load cases can be seen. So that means if we are providing it as a construction stage load, these loads can be viewed only in the construction stages and it cannot be viewed on the post CS. So if you want to view the results in post CS, the construction stage load case, as per the last construction stage, if you want to see that results in the post CS, we have to go to results, load combinations, create a load case, dead load, Select dead load CS. Now 
Now you can see that the dead load case has been generated and it will display the results of the dead load CS as per the last construction stage. Let's see, let's see. Now you can see that again the last construction stage uh, behavior of the structure is matched here. That means if you view a load that is defined as a construction stage load, the construction sequence or the loading sequence will be considered while viewing the result in the post CS state. And for viewing the construction stage load case in post CS, you have to create a load combination. So I hope this is clear. Now we can unlock the model. We can activate one more load in the first construction stage. Load group 2. We are giving another UDL. Click on OK. Let's run the model. Let's go to the first construction stage. There we have activated two different load cases, dead load and UDL. Let's check the results. Dead load. Legend. So now here we can see that the maximum moment coming out to the structure is 450 meter. That means the UDL and the dead load is clubbed together as CS dead load in construction stage. So as I mentioned before, any load that is activated in the construction stages will be clubbed together as a CS dead load case. So what we have to do if we want to view the results separately, unlock the model, go to analysis, construction stage, here click on add. So here you can see that I will give the name as UDL and I'm, we can type, we can select the type of CS load case. This will be useful while creating the load combinations using the auto load combination, uh, load case generation. So here we can select the UDL, click on OK, click on OK. Let's run the model again. Now let's go to the results. Beam diagrams, go to CS1. So here you can see that we have the dead load case that is having the 180 kN meter at the support. We have the UDL one, we can separate it out. We have 270 kN meter. So that is how we can view different load cases in construction stages. Let's go back to our slides. So, so why do last construction stage and post CS results not match at times? So the first cases regarding the loads considered in construction stages and post CS are different. So for example, we have defined a load case as dead load. Let's go to this. So here we have defined something as a dead load. So if we consider this as a static dead load case, In the model. So here we can see that all the static load cases like element line nodal when activated in the construction stages are by default clubbed as CS dead load which implies that then the results due to all these static loads veiled with surface of the structure of patch barrier load bearing force etc would be displayed under CS dead load. You can check the results. This CS dead load. On the contrary, in post CS stage, when we are checking the dead load, it is ST dead load, that is static dead load case. So, would represent the user defined load case, which might just include the self aid or the UDL, and hence the difference. So, that is one reason. The next one is regarding the locking of stresses. So, locking of stresses majorly is the construction sequence or the loading sequence won't be considered while checking the results in the post CS. So that is also another reason. The last thing is regarding the time dependent material properties. So construction stage analysis would also incorporate the time dependent effects of the creep shrinkage as well as the compressive strength. The dead load calculations for elements activated under construction stages are based on the age of the concrete on the day when the element is activated. However, in the post CS, the strength of the concrete taken 
for the particular element is that at the end of the last construction stage. That means in some cases you can say that in construction stages we consider the age of the elements that are actuated but in post years usually the 28 day strength is taken into consideration. But if you want to consider the lockdown uh, modular ratio modulus of uh, elasticity of the elements or the stiffness of the element we have an option where we can go to analysis construction stage analysis time dependent effect so here we can check this option out apply time dependent effect elastic modulus to post years so that means if we define a element with 100 or 1000 days age at the end of post post years so when it goes to the post years it will get the same modulus of elasticity or the stiffness as that of the age given at the last construction stage so this is also one reason why the last construction stage and the post years results does not match so i hope this is clear so here we are i have given an example where the deformation and the forces coming onto it would be depending on the modulus of elasticity so i hope you enjoyed this enjoyed the video and it was informative stay tuned for much interesting and more informative videos thank you